Welcome to another soft plan tutorial, this one with the focus on site plan design. Using the sample drawings two story 05 main floor plan, we will take the time to take a look at what soft plan gives you for a three dimensional model as it pertains to the site. We will then take it one step further and create a custom site whereby we will slope the property from the front of the house towards the rear. To begin, select Build and Assemble Floors, and simply assemble the plan as you would want to view it in Elevation 3D or Cross Section. In other words, the foundation plan should be on the bottom, the second floor plan should be on the top. Select OK, and from the three dimension selection, we'll select Sketched. OK to the extraction options and allow the model to generate. Now by default, the model that comes up will have a site plan or auto horizon. This can be located under the options menu, setup options, and by default right now it's set at 7 foot 8 inches. In other words, the site plan measures 7 foot 8 inches up from the bottom of the concrete walls. This works for a quick 3D, which is what we're viewing right now. But as the design grows and the need for accuracy becomes more prominent, what we will want to do is accurately depict the site plan, in this case, whereby it slopes from front towards rear. To do this, we will return to the floor plan and create our own site. Changing modes to site plan. What you should be doing is creating a, the site as a separate drawing. What you do not want to do is begin sketching your site plan as part of one of your floor plans. The reason being is you are you're likely to need to add things that pertain to the site plan only, whether it be landscaping symbols, dimensions, site work such as planting beds, driveways, etc. Those should be stored as a separate drawing which can also be printed out at a later time. In order to create a drawing from this simply go to draw, building outline, generate building outline and give the new drawing a name, a site plan. On screen what you will see is at this stage a building outline polygon has been created using the outline of the main floor plan. This is a separate drawing at this stage. The deck polygon has also been created for reference. Now, as I zoom out, it should be pointed out that within drawing options for the site plan drawing, the workspace limits were automatically doubled, allowing you more room to sketch the site plan. Certainly, if you needed something other than the default dimensions, through file, drawing options, workspace limits, you could input whatever workspace limits you needed to accommodate the site. There are two main methods of inputting a site. The first is through the draw menu, site line and property. You could enter the coordinates. For today's lesson, we will simply sketch one in. When I select sketch, it will allow me to now freeform a line drawing outline of our site. When the complete perimeter of the site is sketched and you finish where you started, SoftPlan will create a polygon or three-dimensional shape of the site plan. At this stage, this site can be viewed in 3D. What you will need to do is go back to the build, assemble floors, reset the current assembly, and add the site plan as the first drawing in the list. Proceed to then add the foundation, main floor, and second floor. 
from the three-dimensional menu, I will select Texture. Be sure under Extraction Options that your site is being extracted or calculated into the model. When the site is generated as part of the model, what you will see is that at this stage, it is flush with the top of the footer. What we need to do now is tell the building where it needs to be positioned relative to this site. Therefore, if I return back to soft plan within the site plan drawing, I can select File, Drawing Options, Site Options, and enable the building position. If I key in 7 feet and I tell the program that I want to move that building position down by that dimension, what you will see within the 3D model is that the house will drop into the site by that dimension. Now at this stage the site is still flat. What we're going to do now is we're going to talk about how we can add grade lines to the model and contour the site. Returning back to soft plan, the first place that I'm going to show you what how you can slope the site is I'm going to edit the individual corners of the site. So if I move my cursor to the back left hand corner and key in let's say 9 feet and I tell the program that that elevation is down relative to the zero point on the plan and I will do the same thing here what we've done now is we've we've actually taken those two back corners and dropped them 9 feet. Now on the front just to give it a perspective I'm going to key in an elevation of zero. Now just that simple step, if you return to 3D, it can be seen clearly at this stage that the site is sloping from front to back down. What we're going to do now is add intermediate shot points to raise the elevation around the house. Now this can be done a couple of ways. You can go in through the grade and draw individual shot points. It's a literally a point that you drop in the plan. It will tell you what the elevation is. Then you could override that or leave it as is necessary. What I'm going to recommend, because there are a number of shot points I wish to add on the plan, is to simply draw a grade polyline in or spline. If I click on grade and select spline, and then OK, I can now position my cursor where I wish to start the grade and click. As I move my cursor across the plan, I simply click everywhere I would like to drop a shot point. And when I reach the end of the grade spline, right click. As I zoom in, I can now right click and select edit and I'm editing this grade as a whole. I could now input what that offset is going to be. Let's say 1 foot 10 inches down and then select OK. And at that point, each point along that grade is going to indicate what the elevation is based on the change I made. And of course, if necessary, an individual shot point could be modified such that it would be different than those that are around it. So once again, to add a spline, grade points, draw, grade, select grade, in this case spline, Click to begin, simply begin tracing where the model contours need to be, right click to finish, using the right click edit, the polygon can then be modified, and in this case now it is a one foot up relative to the plan. So so what we will have now is a site plan that slopes from zero 
up one foot, slopes back down below that zero line by roughly almost two feet, one foot ten, and then dramatically drops off to nine feet below the original zero line. If I save this, because this plan goes up by a foot here, we may want to go into the drawing options, modify the site options, and simply tell the building position, rather than being seven feet down, to only be six feet down because of the elevation that grade line that I've added in here. A review of the model in 3D shows the site plan as it gently slopes off towards the rear. This simple design of just adding a couple of grade lines relative to the three-dimensional site allows us to show a much more realistic perspective of what the model is going to look like. Opening the camera and pulling the camera away from the model gives us a perspective of the site as it slopes up by a foot towards the house, begins to slowly taper off towards the rear before finally falling away at the, to the negative nine foot elevation that was assigned. SoftPlan site design tools are intended to allow you to properly give perspective to the model. By taking the time to create the site plan as a separate drawing, you have the ability to go in and generate topography. By creating the site plan as its own separate drawing, you're afforded the ability to go in and create the three-dimensional polygon, the individual grade lines, and even as necessary, items such as dimensions or landscaping. And certainly, as far as the 3D is concerned, the picture is worth a thousand words.